Howard Dina Pindell knows what counts. Howard Dina Pindell is an artist who explores textures, colors, and many different types of materials. Her art is about the process of making art. She builds up, then takes apart, and then rebuilds her work. Her work is very beautiful, but she is often making art about difficult subjects like racism, violence, and people being unkind to other people. When she was a young woman, she worked for important museums and galleries in New York City. Unfortunately, she wasn't treated fairly. She saw that other black artists and women artists were also treated unfairly. This racism and sexism in the art world made her upset. She wanted to stand up for herself and other artists. Only white artists would get important exhibits or have their art in fancy galleries. This was not fair. She formed groups with other artists, with women and other people of color, to protest. While she worked in museums during the day, she made her own artwork at night. She didn't have a lot of money for art supplies, so she saved things from the office. She started collecting all the tiny paper circles that came from hole punchers. Pindell first used hole punch circles by counting and numbering each tiny one, then placing them over a grid. A grid is like graph paper. She would add layers of materials like acrylic paint, watercolor, glitter, and even baby powder. Her inspiration for numbers and grids came from her father, who was a mathematician, and he often wrote down numbers in a gridded journal. Howardina wasn't good at math, but she loved drawing numbers. She felt that they were works of art. She would put the numbers on the tiny circles and then put them in rows, and sometimes she would draw numbers on top of photographs. Howardina was in a terrible car accident. Her brain was injured and it made her have bad headaches and sometimes changed her personality from nice to angry. She didn't have any control. She also lost a lot of her memories. So she started making art on postcards from her travels to help her remember. She made a lot of art about her own identity. Her family history includes African American, European, Seminole, Central American, Afro-Caribbean, and Jewish roots. Making art about her identity and working with other artists to fight against racism helped Howard Dina deal with hard things she experienced. After a while, she stopped working in museums and started teaching art at a university in New York City. She still teaches there today. This way, she can teach her students about the importance of diverse artists. She still makes work using paper circles and number. She uses the grid, but she has changed it over the years. She covers it in layers of paint and of course, lots and lots of circles. Howard Dina says, I love controlled chaos. I love the way it looks, the drama, the things juxtaposing with one another. Also to hold the eye through beauty, to notice one thing next to another. I want to have a sense of inside and outside. Thank you.